Pinky Kumari is recovering at home after what she describes as a traumatic couple of weeks. Her husband and brother-in-law have been detained by police and she says she suffered a miscarriage while in government care. I had pain for three days, so I was admitted to the hospital on the 11th. I was given injections, then my situation got worse. There was a lot of bleeding and I had a miscarriage. Pinky and her husband Rashid's ordeal began when they went to register their Islamic marriage ceremony with the state government. They were harassed outside court by a group of Hindu nationalists because Pinky had converted from Hinduism to Islam. The couple married in July, before the government in the state of Uttar Pradesh passed an order which makes it illegal for people to change their religion for the sake of marriage. Police are detaining Rashid and his brother Salim while they investigate whether they forced Pinky to convert and Pinky was taken to a government-run women's shelter. The hospital which treated her told Al Jazeera they only gave her injections to help with her pain and light bleeding. We didn't give her any injection that would lead to a miscarriage. We gave her the best treatment we could according to her symptoms and managed the situation conservatively, so it's wrong to say this. While it's unclear what caused Pinky's miscarriage, what is certain is she was separated from her husband because of the new law. The Uttar Pradesh government issued the anti-conversion order last month, citing a campaign by Muslim men to forcibly convert Hindu women. That's despite the fact no state or central government department, including the National Commission of Women, has found any evidence of such cases. Human rights lawyer Vrinda Grover says the Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP passes such laws to divide Indians. She's preparing to challenge it in court. The BJP very openly projects itself as a right-wing Hindu party. Uh, the, what we are noticing here is that this is actually part of a political agenda, an agenda both to polarize and terrorize communities. Pinky says she's worried about her future and also Rashid's and Salim's. I want my husband and brother-in-law to come back. I ask the government to release them. I'm really worried. I've lost my child. But please let my husband go. But with four other BJP rule states in the process of passing similar orders, more couples are expected to be criminalized for falling in love and marrying people outside their religion. Elizabeth Puranam, Muradabad, Uttar Pradesh.